A preview of the 2022 high school football season continues. Yes, with a stop at Cass and Manorville High School. Maybe C6 sports reporter Jose Solis covered practice today and talked to the team about how they plan to rebound from last year's Class 4A runner-up finish. The Hutchinson Tigers proved to be too much in the Class 4A championship last season for Cass and Manchaville. But in head coach Joel Swanson's eyes, it's how his young man handled defeat that defines Comet football's legacy. It's all about can you get yourselves up? It's like a today is a tough practice. It's the middle of the week. You're sore, you're tired. Just like in the game of life, something happens that's a negative consequence. How do you respond after that? Following a season in which they ran for nearly 4,000 yards on the ground, the Comets need to replicate offensive productivity following quarterback Matthew Donovan's senior campaign. Brock Barrels or be back. He's He's a freaking beast. I think he'll, he'll do well. Looking to get a little faster, get stronger, and just put on more weight. I want to try to get 10 pounds on me before we start uh, the season. The defensive core is mostly intact, and it's at the line where things should be interesting, with 315-pound lineman Reese Tripp on both sides of the ball. He's loud. He's big. He's, he's smart with the game. He's strong. You know, he's, he's going to lead us all the way there. He just clears everything up. He'll be get, He'll be getting double teamed and they'll uh, take people from other spots and open up more plays for us. Overall, there's faith that state is always within reach for KM. And when the unexpected happens, the durability for this team, both mental and physical, will play a key role in 2022. And last year we thought these five guys were going to be starting and all of a sudden you got injury, injury, injury. We got to help out the next guys because they're the next guy up. It is a team thing and you're, you're going to need every one of your buddies along the way. In Casson for ABC6 News, I'm Jose Solis.